I've signed a player who plays in a position I don't use. 3.5 million, 4.4 potentially. Welcome to the video. I don't know why you watch me. Run the intro. Folks, welcome back to another episode of AFC Tims. Now, a few things to note that I forgot last episode, really. Um, and if YouTube want to, you know, make the video the right length and put it in HD, that'd be even better. If you didn't see, they've cocked that up yesterday. So, shout out to YouTube. I know you're watching. Yeah, you're not watching. You're automated bot services, though, isn't it? So, hello to that. Is it is it suitable? <laughs> oh, again, they don't care. Uh, so, a couple of changes since we last met, and I've actually played a couple of games because I wanted to see if I could get some more deals over the line. I got two, so no, not really. Uh, and we started our Premier League season just okay. It's like we haven't actually started the season. You'll see why in just a moment. Uh, Stefano Am Am Amoroso, we talked about him last time, on loan from AC Milan uh, on that left-hand side. I think we've got ourselves a bit of a diamond here. Uh, I don't necessarily know how he's going to play as sort of a right-footed left winger, but I think when you compare his attributes, he's very good. If it doesn't work and we can't quite get, get the best out of him, we'll maybe change it around a little bit and again play that natural left footer that we've got. But um, yeah, Amoroso, welcome to the side. And one of the best names in football manager history, especially on this channel, Dominic Dolls. Welcome to Dominic Dolls from Red Bull, uh, Red Bull uh, Salzburg. 3.5 million, 4.4. Doesn't play a position I use. Can you guess the position? Can you? It, yes, it's an attacking midfielder. Um, I did sort of mention this and he can play up front and on the left. So it's not like a complete waste of space. Um, and he's left-footed. So again, if we're looking for that left-sided winger that we're talking about, who's a little bit more advanced, they're not quite as defensive, Dominic Dolls might end up being my guy. So there was some, there was a little bit of thought. But primarily, he's an attacking midfielder. And again, not a position that I use, but we talked about how the system might change next time. So uh, I thought it was important to get someone in that I thought would be decent. Uh, we're paying a lot of a future transfer fee on this guy. A lot of 50%. It's annoying. But I, I, I wanted to get him in as cheap as possible, really. Um, yeah, it's interesting. He's had some pretty good seasons in Austrian second division um he's taking quite a big step up now to the Premier League it must be said so we'll see how much he plays again a really good option off the bench I think to want to change things around it's not really something I had last season or the season before so welcome to the team Dominic Dolls and it's a great a great name and the best bit is it's his real name um it says that needs to find a new club you've just joined I hope you think you found it the final thing to mention then and I forgot about it uh, yesterday and it's quite a big thing really but it doesn't really change anything for me other than financially maybe because we can now get more people through the door people did mention uh, has there been a stadium development ben you've got afc thames they can't they can't play in their ground it's only five thousand strong and we know that they're searching for a site viewers well they didn't find a site yet but they have fortunately for us found a stadium for us to play in i'd like to thank you crystal palace for letting us rent selhurst park so <laughs> i mean it could be worse i guess uh 26 000, uh, all seater stadium I, I, did we fill it in our opening games so we played sheffield united on the opening day and because that's an opening day fixture we probably filled it i'm gonna guess yeah almost filled it twenty five thousand. and because a lot of the sides that we're gonna play are big names right west ham coming up next um that they'll probably get a fair amount of fans in that'll give us a good indication i think the west ham game of how many people will be here on average um we've got some tough games coming up i think our next episode will be Thames FC makes sense maybe Leicester maybe Burnley don't know quite yet probably Burnley actually because it's a bit more winnable um I play Liverpool uh, Liverpool Arsenal and Manchester City back to back to back so that's gonna be horrendous isn't it so it, we're in a weird spot because in terms of players that I want to bring in it's been quite difficult and we're still not quite in the black yet because I bought another player we've gone back down again but again the money you get month on month we should end the season if you look at our projections with 40 million or so in the bank it might be slightly more than that might be slightly less than that um but i think that's going to set us in a real good position for future seasons uh, next season's minimum guaranteed transfer budget will be 15 million pounds or 14 million pounds so that gives me a lot of hope right this season was 21 million going into the future seasons when we've got this financial stability one of the things i have to do very quickly and as soon as we get into the black this is something i'm going to do is improve my facilities rapidly right so that's that's something i'm desperate to do is to try and get us up to up to speed with these other sides i don't want us to have, not have any advantage in those sorts of situations we have to try and move forward as quickly as possible now of course you'll remember if you watch the first series of thames that 
West Ham were the big rival of Thames initially because the sort of localization of it, they're very close together. Um, we now have a situation where, of course, Thames are the rival, but West Ham still very much in the local area, just on the other side of the river, of course. Um, but yeah, they're a rival of ours. So the job here has to be done. Uh, let's talk through the team then to play West Ham. I haven't selected it yet, but this is the team that drew uh, in our last game against Norwich. So will we go with this again? Let's find out. First thing to do is to register footballers. Uh, lots of them are under 21, even though they're foreign, because they're under 21, we don't have to register them. So I'm not, but uh, Serpak and Dolls have to be registered. So team-wise then, it is a 4-4-2. This ball-winning midfielder spot, by the way, I still haven't filled it with anybody new, and it's getting a little bit stressful now. Um, Amoroso on the left-hand side. We're playing him as a winger at the moment because I like the natural width that we get. Playing him as an inside forward, or an inverted winger, I guess it would be, actually, does change it ever so slightly. In terms of player instructions, we could change it. We could have him stay wide the whole time, and I think that's what we'll do because, again, I do like that natural width. I do like us to have quite a, quite a stationary system especially without the ball like it's you've got to break down our two lines and if you can do that then yeah you're probably going to score quite a few goals um in terms of the back line knee of course plays in goal anderson uh, osmanovic we've got luigi still there with magal like as a back line i think that's pretty strong like osmanovic playing at center back it's a big risk to play him over fleet maybe because fleet's played for us and knows us far better but i just think he is as a defender he's slightly better uh lloyd on the right hand side we're expecting big things like it's going to be it's difficult for him i think it's a big step up from where we played last season. So, I, I, again, we, we're going to have to find out pretty quickly. We do have options out on that right-hand side if we need to. Solomon, someone that could play further up. And, again, if you're playing this attacking midfielder, if Dole starts to play a little more, then that changes things quite a lot because then it might allow us to play wingers pushed up and then it gives us a few more options, right, even if Dole plays on the left-hand side and we change things around. Uh, McGregor, centrally, of course, going to keep his spot. Agbaji right now seems to be my best option in the ball-winning role. I don't think it's fantastic, but it's okay. Uh, and below, and Erman Trout has played the first few games up front. So far, it's been okay. They've both got a goal, but I think I'd be silly, really, not to bring Solomon in. And I'm going to bring him in for Erman Trout because him and below have this connection. It does seem to matter in the match engine, I think, if players have got this this bond and this connection. So we're going to go with it. Um, team instruction wise we're going to go with everything we went for in the previous seasons which might be a bit of a risk I think the most important thing for us is that low tempo working it out wide and then once we get into these wider areas trying to find passes through to Solomon and below rather than maybe crossing it in that's the important uh, part for us uh, in terms of our bench then of course we can change this round a little bit and it gets slightly stronger uh, Dolls comes onto it now of course Fleet takes his place on the bench so you think about players that were starters for us previous years now make their way onto the bench and our squad is slowly evolving into a Premier League side I would hope as mentioned then two points from two games pretty good quite a few players uh, quite a few teams I should say have done that so far this season West Ham so far uh, one draw against Newcastle and a loss against Stoke which is not ideal but Stoke have started the season quite well and Thames FC appear to be back as they win their first two games right let's get into this of course it's a big day of actual football uh, let's see if Thames can do the business as well. I'm looking forward to it. Most people will be watching this video drunk or just will have, you know, not seen this video today because England things, which are very reasonable. I'm on edge, viewers. And of course, if you're watching this after the England game, Mm. Uh, if you're watching it before though i did a preview of the game uh, i've been doing a, a lot more football content hopefully you, you want to give it a chance favorites to be relegated this season i'm going to say thames fc i think that's reasonable uh, no, i did a, I did a preview for the game against denmark uh, as i've done for all the games and of course i'll be doing a, a review as well i'll probably do that tomorrow instead of tonight i suspect um but yeah football we all love football patrick vieira is west ham manager well I, I am a little bit surprised i'm not gonna lie um we're on telly as well today so we're getting all the sitv stuff which i don't think you always get as uh, the teams walk out there in west ham in their blue kit we're at home at sellers park now as much as they're sort of like a blue and red team i realize i'm also this is like the ted lasso played at sellers park didn't they and they've sort of they sort of renamed it as mcgregor by the way oh my goodness me michael mcgregor three minutes in scores a wonderful goal well we've not looked that potent in the season so far again scored a couple of goals one in each game but that from mcgregor well who is this guy if you get the reference i've tried to i, I couldn't sound more middle class trying to make a funny pun there uh, mcgregor it's a weird shot stops on an axis and then right footed rockets one into the far corner that was a one hell of a strike wonderful do that all season mate do that all season we might win the league i mean is that premature mm, okay probably premature they've got michael uh who is this michael angelo 
they've got a player called it's sort of michelangelo um, amoroso now first time we're really seeing him be involved properly as below beats his man well he can do it in league one he can do it in the premier league below no he can't no he can't 10 minutes in we've got to give him a chance in the premier league that's the big thing for me we've got to give him a go and morosa has got a corner will the short corners work in the premier league because if they do this might guarantee us like five or six goals this season mcgregor again oh he smashed another who is this guy? Amoroso gets the assist. McGregor is a long shot fiend, viewers. I don't, I don't think I signed him particularly for his long shots, but he's had two goals now. Uh, is he just outside, just inside the box? I couldn't quite tell. Let's let's look at it again. As it comes to, he's just inside, and it's a great finish this time. Near post, keeper caught out. Thames two, West Ham nil. Well, this is better than a one-one against Sheffield United, which is what we would have seen. So we'll take that. Oh, blimey, throwing deep in our half. They always make me nervous as McGregor and Moroso cuts inside, but then does come back out to this wide area, which is important for us. He's got to try and keep a bit of width as the ball forward, though. It's a little rushed from Magel. Not, not quite as composed as it should be as they're in. Oh, blimey. That's the Premier League. That just did not happen to me in the Championship. That's like three passes, it felt like. Like, we give the ball... How many, how many touches is this? One touch there. Like, two more. Two more. So, six touches. And they're just in. That just didn't happen to me in the championship. Teams were a lot more considered, a lot slower, basically, just not technically as good. And um, yeah, we've been stung. Still lead 2 1, but that was that was quick. Right, Amoroso there is battling. He lost the ball and actually won it back. That was really good for him. Below, back to him. And now we know we've got pace, dribbling ability. That's why he's been brought in, gives it away, and we look for the overlap. So now we are chasing back. Magal is a very quick defender. Uh, as Kempster on that side racing forwards we can't get a stop on him as the ball's knocked down and in and <sighs> you lose the ball this is like the di this is just the difference and it's happened to me a few times already this season now and twice in this game you lose the ball and you just get punished it takes one player it feels like to go on one run down that side and then the knockdown it's a free it's a free man and um, yeah, defensively not switched on enough. Our centre back should be going for the initial header. Our full back should then be dealing with it, and it just hasn't happened like that. Two two. I mean, it's an action-packed game at the very least. Lloyd back on it. Can he get the ball into the middle? McGregor. He's on the hat trick out of nowhere. Drilled across. We're there. Oh, it's got to be below. Oh, it's been ruled out. I don't know what for. What's it been ruled out for? It's offside apparently. I don't know how that's offside. I mean, is it when the ball's put in initially? Is he offside? They're checking it. The goal's been disallowed. I'm fascinated. How is this not how is this not a goal? As it's drilled across there. Oh my goodness me. It hits Solomon. So it's actually nothing to do with below. Because I was pretty sure below wasn't offside. I guess we'll encourage the boys. 15 minutes to go the first half. Action packed. Both sides with pretty low XG. I guess that's the worry for me. We haven't created anything clear cut. We've scored two absolute screamers. Whereas West Ham have cut us open twice and obviously i'm very conscious of the games coming up we're playing some very very good sides and i have to make the decision really do i try and attack those teams and you know lose 4-1 or something or do i try and defend against them as amoroso great first touch can he go for goal oh my word that's twice below's done it now he's done it are we kidding? boys come on wake up getting into positions to score and then panicking it feels like his knee plays it forwards can Solomon win the knock-on? It's going to drop to Lloyd, who's headed down. She's very good. And Jimmy Anderson at right back. McGregor's ball forward is weak, is what I would say, as the ball's headed on again. Badgie's not going to get there. That striker they've got, I don't know who that is, but he makes the best runs I've seen on FM this year in terms of like this save, especially. Um, he, he, keeps, he keeps making runs that my defenders just don't track him in any way. Ball played in eventually, header on goal. Who is that guy? Is, I, I wonder if he's off the ball is insane i just want to have a look because I'm, I'm really really curious and then we can kind of watch him a little more as it goes do it do it doig is it doig 16 off the ball very very fast yeah the, he's a scottish as well so keep an eye on him he he's making some really clever runs and again i've not played a player with thames that good and i'm still i've still got luigi who is with me in the championship of course so uh so far it's I don't know. It's very even, I guess. Let's give the fans a performance. Uh, delighted with the performance so far. I am pretty pleased with it. I mean, defensively, it's been a bit questionable, but if you keep spirits high, keep morale high, we definitely give ourselves a chance still. You can see, though, every highlight, 
that comes about, well, I mean, they've given it away as well, comes from us doing sort of like a careless knockdown. It's a brilliant pass. Solomon's there. He f somehow forced it in. Amoroso, by the way, has got another assist. Thames three, West Ham two. I'm wondering, has Amoroso got three assists in the game? Did he get the second one? Pretty sure he got the first one. Maggle to him. This ball, by the way, here, that is different gravy. I mean, Solomon gets a bit lucky. The first shot seems to be blocked, then it ricochets in, and then he gets the shot on goal again, which is a bit of a football manager engine thing. But we're back in the lead once again. Um, yeah, I mean, McGregor's on an 8.4. Solomon's on a 7.2. We've got Amoroso on a 7.6. I'm not sure if he's got all three assists. We could do with another goal, though, because it's quite clear that we have got the potential to leak goals. Agbaji loses out there, and now I'm very worried about the run he made again in between my defenders, and now he's run to the back post, and he's literally a problem. He's not really been marked either. Ball played across to him. He scored. I don't know why we're not marking him better. Is it because our defenders have 12 and 13 marking, and we just can't stop him does he just position his body so well i shouldn't have pointed him out viewers to be honest it's this right like you made a little run there another run there like if they want to play balls to him he's there every time again still free get goal side mate would troy fleet be dealing with him i don't know as then it's just like so easy he just put places himself in a position where give me the ball I, i'm gonna score three three if every game's like this it's going to be a very long season as oh you are football managering me are you joking Okay, well, he's injured now, Amoroso. Who, uh, Dominic Doles is coming on for his debut. It's our only move, I think. We're going to play him as the advanced playmaker on that side, maybe? No, we'll, keep, we'll just have him as a winger support. We won't change too much. Of course, he can't play the deeper role uh, successfully, so we'll at least have him as an attacking threat. As uh, Maggle does brilliantly there. Plays Doles in. Right, well, Doles, he's the wrong side of their defence now, and he's racing forward. And uh, The right ball inside. Solomon, it's difficult. Oh, it's difficult. It should have maybe gone to below. Seemed like the obvious choice. Anyway, still 3-3 as uh, their goalkeeper makes a decent save it's a big chance for us though as uh, the knockdown goes their way as the tackle is missed it slows them down at least ball played forwards we're not winning are we do you get that free to eat as well like as much as we've been in the game and scored three goals i kind of feel like we're not going to win below dolls we're a constant threat below's in maybe we will win below 20 yards out goes for goal there's no power on it I mean, Below's not really lived up to the hype. Well, lives up to my hype anyway. Erman Trout's going to come on. He's a bit quicker. He's a bit more devastating, I think, in attack. So we'll bring him on. Anderson into Solomon. Now I've got two players, Solomon and Erman Trout, very, very similar. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Ball into Badgie, into Erman Trout, into Dolls. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he's at the post. Oh, Dolls. What a chance. Oh, dear. Dolls is in the house, viewers. Dolls on the corner now. These short corners, they've run away from it. They're going to give us lots of time. And in my experience, that is foolish. Like, ordinarily, we cause problems when we've got a bit more time. McBadgie, can he get it on that left foot? Plays it to Anderson on that side. The, oh, this is bad. They're running forward. Kempster with it on that side as the challenge. Oh, good. Luigi comes across and covers. We're only doing one game today. It's a bloody good game to do. 20 minutes to go. I'm just staying on balance. I'm not going to change anything too too drastically. I'm thinking subs bench-wise here. Is there anyone that is worth bringing on? Do you maybe bring Wooten on? Frig Badgie in the centre? Just just fresh legs. Five minutes to go. Oh, blimey. This is tough. I think we probably do. I think Wooten to come on. He's got a little bit more creativity maybe in his locker. Oh, we'll see. Okay. 3-3 three, three, though. Six minutes of added time. Would I take a draw? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be unbeaten. But I'm going to have drawn the first three games if it remains like this. And it is going to remain like this. Well, what a game. I mean, there's something to be said. Really, really good. McGregor with two stunning goals. Deserves man of the match. I'm hoping he got it in the game. Amoroso, that's a huge concern now. Like, is, is he going to be... I don't know, is he going to be injured? Two assists for Amoroso, just checking there. Is he going to be injured for a long time, though? I mean, this is, this is, a, this is a big moment for our season, really. We've just loaned him. There, there might be a situation where we get sent back on loan immediately i'm going to be neutral and then positive and then positive it was an epic game you can't argue with that as uh, there we are then 15th position it's the same as losing two and winning one and that's the thing isn't it like it's great to get the draw but uh yeah not ideal uh jack wildick is injured with a cruciate now he was out on loan at lan um i don't know if he's now has he now returned to us then because it's pointless he's still on loan at lan his career is pretty much over so wildick that's bad news and then this is obviously the big news amoroso is out for one to three days the contrast in that 
seeing seeing like an ACL and then seeing a tight calf mixed emotions uh there we are then that's going to conclude we saw some really good performances there from some good players and the thing is i don't i don't necessarily know how good west ham are in terms of the preview there may be a side that you want to make sure you're getting points against but again if again if you're going to look at that i guess norwich we got a point against them sheffield united point against them we do have to turn some of these draws into wins and am i brave enough to go for them not yet if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you want to see some more make sure you subscribe and we love with care for instance just next time it's coming home see you later goodbye unless this unless it's already happened and it's